Uh, I had my microphone off that entire time. Okay, we're finally back. It's been a week, IRL. I'm, I'm actually thinking probably what I'll do. Uh, if I if I actually make this a, a thing that I do consistently, I'll probably release an an hour long episode every week. Just to space things out some and get a schedule going, I guess. Might even release them every Sunday. It'll just be like Skyrim Sunday or Skyrim Saturday. Anyway, I have absolutely no clue whatsoever what I was doing last time. Like, none at all. Oh! Well, I know one thing. Uh, so, mod changes. Uh, I installed a couple... A couple of texture replacers. Uh, so if things look different, that's why. Um, these are very shiny. Uh, but yeah, so th things might might look slightly different now. And then. Downloaded a couple new. I don't even know what I did. I did a lot of crap. It's been a week. I don't remember what I've done. <laughs> uh, map. Speak with Ezon. That's all the way in the rift. Turn to Furcus. That's all the way over there, so we'll be doing that. I guess I can do that one too. Uh, nope. More than score. Everything is literally as far away from me as you can possibly be. I'm not doing that one yet. Okay, I can do that. Three second. First spring. Nope. Broken fang. That's in white runs for sure. Star, not doing that. Your full crease. Not, I'm not doing the Civil War until much later in the main quest, because it just makes things more annoying when you're walking around the world. Uh, an eagle sword could do that, but I'm not going over there yet. Near to Aldous. Okay, I don't have that. Roger Winterhold. Not yet. Okay. Uh, get big over there. Yeah. Oh. 
Did I not have that on? There we go, now it's working. Okay, so... I guess we'll head back to the Blue Palace. First, get that over with. Always like an army of Thalmor dudes here. Where are, is everyone? Okay, that's weird. There is no need to push. You ran into me. Yeah, so I, d I downloaded the mod a long time ago that makes it so you can turn the camera around 360 and stuff. But for whatever reason, it won't let me look at Hjalmarch or whatever the fuck this province is called. So I can never tell where I am when I'm on the other side of this mountain range. the workers alone. Hmm. So I have the, I have Ordinator installed. It's like a, uh, what you call it? Perk overhaul mod. Uh, and with that, it gives you the ability to respec yourself, so every so often I respec and do different playstyles. That's not a main feature of the mod, that's just something you can do. <laughs> the main feature of the mod is it overhauls a lot of the perk trees, so there's a lot more options and you can have a lot more varied skills and stuff like that. But I, I was just pointing that out because uh, when I originally started this playthrough, I was actually doing a one-handed sword and fire magic, uh... 
playthrough. Oh god, it's this place. First time I came here, there was a ginormous, like, humongous, bigger than my horse, blue crab, hiding out there in the water. <laughs> and I fucking shot an arrow at it, thinking it was a rock. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> uh, I was trying to attract the attention of all these guys. Uh, but I, I, sh I shot it at it and it aggroed the crab and the crab thought that the bandits that were over there did it. <laughs> and then I just sat back there, back here for like five or ten minutes just watching them all run from an enormous blue crab that was just wrecking all of them. And then as soon as the last one was dead, the crab t immediately turned around and looked directly at me <laughs> and then I started running. <laughs> it's just like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the crab's just like, you! You did it! <laughs> it was you! I'll end your miserable life. Yeah. Literally every time I hear him say that, I think I'm being attacked. But while riding on horseback, he climbs vertically. Dover King, Dover King. <laughs> Saying fuck to physics, he will climb up mountains. Defy physics, do do do. Ow, oh, the road was literally right there. Ooh, there is a cave. I do not think there are friendly faces and warm fires inside. What? I literally just saw this guy get murdered and now I'm taking his stuff um but yeah I have a lot of texture replacers installed now and I got one to retexture the environment I've already said that but I guess since I'm here might as well go in That is the funkiest looking animation ever. <laughs> or like climbing on an invisible pull bar. Or pull up bar. Do not need, do not take. They're glowing. Oh, is this a Falmer infested cave? Oh, it's going to be, isn't it? Okay, no, Nordic Ruin. <laughs> the pots give it away. <laughs> fur cloak. It almost looks like it. Oh, God, it's pots. This cave does have farmer in it. 
Because there's Charis in here. Where is Inigo? No, 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 no. I'm not exploring a dark, creepy cave without a Get over here. I have to read the book again on how that works. Oh, I don't have that book on me. God damn it. Inigo, where are you? Didn't he follow me in here? I could have swore he followed me in here. What are you doing? Follow! What do you need? I am trying to keep quiet. You should do the same. Why are you not following me? Are you okay? Right behind you. There's a book that tells you how to do the whistle. It's like called whistling or the art of whistling, something like that. How to whistle for idiots. <laughs> Power of whistling, there we go. Okay, I will try not to start any trouble. Get off the horse! to talk okay let us get back to it <sighs> he's starting to get on my nerves come here follow me into the cave follow me He's his AI is fucking up right now for some reason. There we go. Are you following me? There we go, finally. Yeah, so probably what it was is I accidentally activated his horse earlier, which is the signal for him to ride his horse, and I think it was effing up his follow command. Lost. 
Yep, there are chars here. Why? That's rather poignant. <sighs> I'm just checking to see if this is working correctly real quick. download the iron retexture. Or, yeah. I don't know if I like that retexture or not. Because there's a retexture for the iron armor and a retexture for the iron weapons. The iron weapons retexture, because I have another mod that uses that, like, uh... Well, I have two mods. I have... Lean Wolf Butter Shaped Weapons, which edit the meshes of some of the vanilla weapons to make them less paddle-like and more like actual swords. Oh, I guess that's as far as you can go. Oh. Is this edited by a DLC or have I never come here before? I need to get back to your Vasker and finish the campaign and quest line. So I can unlock the thermal vision, not thermal vision, night vision. Is there a giant blue glowing crystal in that tent? Oh! I completely forgot about that.
Yeah, I'll look at that later. I'm actually starting to think that, that one texture replacer I have is not working correctly. How much health do you have? How much health do you have? I'll wait a bit. See if any of the arm other things that got retextured by that mod will show up. See what they look like. Yeah, I'm thinking that mod's not working. Try to heal me. <laughs> it's like, ha ha, look at my hand. I shall heal you with life. <laughs> yeah, see, like, it's retexturing these, but not this. It's like retexturing the helmets and shields. Oh, it might be because.
Well, is it because there's a guy back there? See, on some stuff, it's working right. Actually, I'm gonna go find one of those bodies again. It might actually be, it just looks wrong in the... I'll figure it off off the figure it out off the recording. <laughs> this is blatantly a hidden compartment game. Wait, is this back where I started? There's nothing here. Okay, what is up with this altar? Why does this altar have sounds of the demonic coming from it? I got a perk out of this, so that kind of was really good. I'm just 
just surprised that this dungeon exists and there's nothing. Oh, I guess there was a chest. Okay, fair enough. There was a treasure chest and there was... I almost like the vanilla textures better because Bethesda slightly up their textures. That looks cool too, though. They upgrade their upgrades their textures for the special edition, so and fix the meshes so they actually. I don't know what the technical term is, but like the the thing that gives items depth, like if they have engravings or whatever on them, so it doesn't just look like a texture, like like someone took a marker and drew an engraving on it, but it actually gives it depth to it, so it actually looks like it's engraved in the middle. They fixed that too, so a lot of the items in the game already look better. And the mod I have installed is a older mod from the original Skyrim, and it might not be working properly. Technically, I'm not even supposed to be using it in the special edition. It's just I was told that you could. Because it's technically not officially supported for the special edition yet. It was just told to me that you know it didn't work. But I'm thinking it's not working properly, so I might disable it. Uninstall it. He's having a lot of difficulties with this horse. Alright, straight down the road. Just right down the road. I'm getting chased by a bear or something, aren't I? Nope, cave troll. Hey, random Imperial, fight this troll for me. <laughs> it's like, hi, Bri hi, I brought a friend, bye. <laughs> oh, and there's a storm cloak patrol that's going to gank the Imperial. I went the wrong way. further down. You can tell I haven't played Skyrim in a while because I have no idea where the roads are. <laughs> Although to be fair when I played Skyrim originally I never really walked on the roads anywhere. I just fast traveled everywhere. Maik's father was also called Maik, as was Maik's father's father. At least, that is what his father said. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Maik is done talking. Maik is done talking. Something on your mind? Talking to Maik wears him out. I am glad I do not suffer from the same affliction. Let's leave this fever to his madness before it rubs off on us. I'm thinking the sun is going down. No, my mind is a tree without leaves at the moment. <clears throat> okay. Also, I just realized you're wearing a different helmet now. Mayik is done talking. Okay, Mayik can go away now then. Mayik is done talking. Okay, me, I get it. Go. Go away. Yeah, he's wearing a different helmet, but I actually think I like this one better. 
Because I think he was wearing a hood before. That actually looks kind of cool on him, especially with the armor. <laughs> Yes, my friend. Of course, what do you want to know? A new steed? I cannot resist. Fair enough. My steed and I are quite happy to keep things as they are. Let me think. Um. Okay, here we go. My friend is similar to me. We both enjoy a song. I will try to improvise some more words. I wondered if we would be standing here long. We stood and thought and pondered where thoughts begin. Uh, my mind is bare. I hate, hate, and being unkind. Beauty is a state of mind. My armor is light, I do declare. It does not chafe or impair. We are standing and wondering what is in store. I do not mind standing, but I like moving more. If you pull my tail, you will hear me roar. This song makes no sense, and yet there is more. What is happening right now? It's a funny old deal. It is everything bad, good, and surreal. I am more than a man with a broken brain. I am not a pet, and I am not tame. I am strange, it is true, but the life <laughs> is stranger strange. when I'm near you. Standing about is fine by me. When my body rests, my mind is free. We are both champions, tough and brave. If you fight us, you are digging your own grave. You are standing close, you smell fit and well. Health is a thing you cannot buy or sell. There are more smells in the air than words in my head. I regret I must soon put this song to bed. Maybe one day I you'll go away. for me. My mind is growing empty, it is plain to see. That is that my mind is drained. But I hope that you were entertained. The end. Let's go kill those more. <laughs> oh, hey, you came back. <laughs> One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. I regret everything! Why did I do that? That was a horrible idea, and I'm gonna be like 10 miles away. Must be right when we just came out of that. Note to self quick save is your friend.
Oh, come on, guys. Really? That's not even remotely fair. <laughs> you just fucking ganked that poor Imperial. <laughs> he just fought a bunch of cave trolls. And then you freaking roll up and gank him from a distance with arrows. You guys are literally the definition of douchebags. <laughs> How about you fuck off, bruh? Don't make me tell you again. Get out of here. You're fucking attack me, I dare you. Concern you friend. Attack me, bitch. What if I don't? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Move along. This is me not moving along. Move along. How do you back up, bitch? Move along. Move along. Huh? That's right. Keep walking. Move along. Move along. Move along. Is that guy retarded? Go. Who? What? What? Fuck off! Oh gosh, you go! Thank you. Nope. Oh my god. That was almost very, very bad. your meat. Ew. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. <laughs> mm. I can melt all this down. No, I can't because I don't have the carpet. Because I need... Yep. Ebony Storm Cleaner. Wait. I guess I can always just save it and break it down later. Keep walking. Fuck off! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill that guy. Both along. Go on. Get out of here. Both along. <laughs> oh seriously? Wait, I beg your pardon? They're storm cooks. Worry about being ugly ever again. I don't. How did? How does? I got, so I don't know if anyone noticed her, but I got a bounty when I attacked them. For Hafinger. Which is... Solitude is the main capital of Hafinger. I.e. the capital of the Imperial allied Skyrim gave me a bounty for killing Stormcloaks, which are their enemies. Logic! Mm. 
Let's quickly get back into town before I act. You're the brute that hurt me before. Uh, what? Hey, what? Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. What is happening? You remember me? Make it quick. Okay. Jesus Christ! These guys are OP. Uh, poison this. Take that. I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Make it quick. Okay, immediately bashes him in the head. <laughs> so this must have been the guy who was with the other group of Thalmor and he escaped. Oh. Karma, bitch. Well, no, I guess technically if it was karma, it'd be me getting killed. I'm a horrible person. I just murdered a group of Thalmor for no reason. Actually, no, I take it back. They attacked me first. I don't know. This whole game is confusing. Must get inside city before I get attacked again. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, that's right. Wait. Okay, yeah. Solitude's there. The roads don't stand out as much now. Okay. I'm not even going to ask. But yeah, the roads don't stand out as much with this texture pack. They blend into the ground more. So it's actually kind of harder to stay on the path. How far away is Solitude? Jesus. Didn't click that button. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Aww. Hi, puppy. Much to ask. Do you know I look forward to the burning of King Olaf each year just because of the fire? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, 
you know I look forward to the burning of King Olaf each year just for the fire. What the fuck? Uh, what? What? What the, what the fuck is going on with this game? Oh my god, what? That's just fucking weird. What is this? Uh. Oh, please don't tell me the puppy's following me. Oh, god damn it. What's up with this dragon head? Like, is there significance to this? Or did they just put it here because dragons are awesome? Well, basically, I'm curious if there's any history to this. It's just like, what, was like, did a dragon attack Solitude and they killed it and it's buried behind there? Or is it just literally dragons are awesome, so we put a dragon head on the wall? Not again! Stay where you are, brain. Stay where you are. Is that puppy still following me? Ugh. But yeah, there's a bug with animals where they follow you. I'm buying the perks. Oh, and of course there's no forge here. Of course! Wasted perk. I'm not doing that. I'm going back in time. I always forget there's no. I need to download a mod that adds a fucking forge. Not forge, but a smelter to here. Need something? Oh, or are you just scripted to follow whoever walks in? Oh, I get it. I get it. It's because in it goes a cat. <laughs> and it literally might just be something with that particular mod where the dog's like, Oh, look! It's a cat! I want to get the cat! I'm a dumb puppy. <laughs> I want to chase the fluffy cat. <laughs> Either that or I have a puppy following me around now and it's going to get murdered in like 10 seconds. Don't follow me, puppy. You're gonna die. Don't follow me. My nose enjoys this place. Are we here for business, pleasure, or both? It reminds me a little of Cyrodiil here, a thin veneer of civility barely masking the dirty doings beneath. It is nice looking, though. This place smells of coin and good taste. No, my mind is a tree without the leaves at the moment. Blue Pals, Blue Pals, that's what I'm here for, Blue Pals. Emperor's Tower. Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. 
Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Fireblood. You have a very dirty face. My duty is to keep the Yar safe, not play nursemaid to you sycophants. Keep your weapon out of your hands, and we'll get along just fine. I don't like you. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. Filthy creatures, aren't they? Living in the darkness like they do. So uncivilized. I prefer finery, like this. Here, for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't I? Are you a vampire? Take care of yourselves and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. You're a vampire. No, don't hit her. Why does my controller must be acting up? It's a fine day with you around. You you got a dog, really? If what you are you gonna business, name him? Fleecy Folk Porig. Porig. <laughs> my There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. Nope. Be well. Play for solitude. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I am out. Oh wait, was I supposed to come to? I was supposed to come talk to. <sighs> I was supposed to talk to the steward, wasn't I? Courier must have found you. Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Potema escaped. We even countered some of her minions. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding, but I need you to go talk to him. To see if Steer can tell us what to do next. He's Solitude's priest of Arcae. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. I'm not really sure. Steer thinks you have some sort of link to Potema. I trust his judgment on this. As a priest of Arcade, he's had to deal with necromancy before. Nothing as dangerous as Potema, though. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. Falk told me what you did for us at Wolf Skull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. As you may know, Talos' worship is outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a warhorn handed down from his father, and place it at the shrine of Talos. No, but my husband, Torig, would want a proper burial, and this is the way Nords are buried in Skyrim. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. With the passing of my dear husband, Torig, the weighty position of Jarl has fallen to me. Please direct questions to my steward. 
<laughs> I like how, I like how she says that she's the Jarl now, and then the, in the next breath she says, "Please direct all questions to my steward." So translation: I'm the Jarl in name, but the steward actually runs the hold. <laughs> next uh all right so any guys want to go to the oh uh, any go keeps bugging me to go to the bard's college in solitude so i guess we'll go ahead and head there is that door glowing blue That looks very weird. Here's a man I'm glad to see. I should make sure Sfari's okay. You should also stop standing around the middle of nowhere at 9 o'clock p.m. You're new here, right? Welcome to... Huh? on a few songs of my own. If you want to hear them, take a seat and let me know. I do not mind standing or sitting while I perform, but I would prefer that you were relaxed and focused. All set? Hold on.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to go do something. I will aid you if I can. Whatever you say. All right. What is on your mind? You lead, I follow. Something troubling you? If you sit down and I sing, be ready to laugh, but not too hard, okay? I have a few basic ideas for songs about you. They are just works in progress, though. They sound unmusical. I often create my own songs, but they are very bad. I just don't have the time to work at being gifted. There are many talented people here. I could learn a lot from them if I could be bothered. No. Well, do something. I'm sitting. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. What do you want to hear? I have not written many, I'm afraid. Let's see. Brenda the Bear? Dragon Pie? My heart is in the rift? What'll it be? This one is personal. My heart's in the rift. My heart is not here. My heart is in the rift, a chasing the deer, chasing the wild deer and following the roe. My heart's in the rift wherever I go. Farewell to the rift I must travel forth. The birthplace of valor, the land of worth. Wherever I wander, wherever I rove, the trees of the rift forever I love. Ah, it makes me want to cry. Okay, but remember, you asked for it. Let's see. Okay, this one works better if you sing along with the chorus. I'm not singing. A big ugly lizard flew out of the sky. You <laughs> what the him fuck? Down just like a fly. You took his soul and people did cry. Let's all eat some dragon pie. Dragon pie is tasty and good. If you could have some blow, <laughs> you would. It puts hair on your chest and fire in your veins. It gives you strength and gives you more brains. Dragon pie, oh my, oh my, it's a tasty <laughs> dish you really should try. Dragon pie, oh my, oh my, our dishes are empty, a dragon must die. So if a dragon flies at your head, oh, bomb, what the fuck? Instead, open your oven and throw out the bread. Trap the dragon and get well fed. Dragon pie is tender oh. and fine. It goes really well with troll blood wine. It makes you smart and good in this sack. Have a bite, you won't look back. Dragon pie, oh my, oh my. It's a tasty dish you really should try. Dragon pie, oh my, oh my. Our dishes are empty, a dragon must die. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh. This is a sad one. Here we go. 
I once loved a girl called Brenda the Bear. She was bad, but I didn't care. She was hairy and gruff and seven feet tall. She introduced my face to a wall. I still loved her after she ate my gold. She hugged me tight, kept out the cold. But when I found her with another man, I knocked out her teeth with a frying pan. Love is harsh and love is cruel. I miss her wet nose, her claws and drool. I miss her breath, so fragrant and hot. I miss all the fish that she caught. But Brenda still keeps me warm and snug. I skinned her and turned her into a rug. Sad but true. Remind me never to get on your bad side. I agree. I am not very good. Ask away. I hate those giant black chittering insects you get here. They make my eyes hurt and my fur stand on end. Okay. okay. Let us get back to it. What? Wow, the music is very loud. Dial up voice. Yeah. Yes. You're the boss. I am glad to be sitting here with you. What is on your mind? You have my full attention. My brother and I never knew our real parents. We were found abandoned in a smelly shack by a soldier on his way to battle. We melted his heart with our fuzzy little faces, and he carried us to the nearest town. He deposited us at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. My parents provided me with a love and encouragement. Apart from the nightly training sessions, we were a normal family. I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. Childhood is extreme. It is a time of hard learning, but also teaching. Anyway, I never seriously hurt anyone until I was a lot older. My father showed my brother and I how to use a sword. My mother taught us the bow. Happy childhood memories. I grew up in a river hold, not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at least. My brother found death. Well, now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, all that happened later. I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. 
My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. That means a great deal. Thank you. My brother and I found much work as sellswords. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. All over Cyrodiil, from the Gold Coast to the General Mountains. It is a wonderful land, but quite tame compared to Skyrim. Those were happy times, traveling or working during the day, camping out under the stars at night. Life was good. A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We took gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. I awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding, and pushed our father's sword into my hand. He said that if I loved him, I would run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent and push me down the slope beyond. Some Khajiit-hating locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in night. My brother died, but I live because of him. Yes, that morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. Every day, my friend. Every day. I was recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. I was with a bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. Regrettably, she was a vicious, manipulative harpy. I left the bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in his scrap. We became mercenaries together. After a few months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to Skuma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. There is not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. From time to time my body does, but my mind is made up. I am never touching this stuff again. It helped me smother some painful memories. But it took my sense and reason as payment. It was not a fair trade. One day, Felix burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. His murder was my second last step on the road of dishonor. Trying to kill you was my last. My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. 
That is my story. Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come. I do not like chickens or rabbits. Why? I'd rather not talk about it. Maybe one day I will leave myself for good, but not yet. I still have much blood to repay. I have many thoughts all of my own. Many are fleeting though. Better catch them while you can. My heart swells at the sight of natural beauty. Hello, my name is Inigo, and I am a recovering skooma addict. I like talking about myself. I am very interesting. My favorite color is blue. No! <laughs> a witch once turned me into a dragonfly. I got better. I love archery. I once shot a man's hat off at 60 paces. If he hadn't ducked, I would have got his head. Some folks seem to have a magical, never-ending supply of arrows. I have no such enchantments working on me, unfortunately. My favorite weapon is the bow. My thumbs are not quite the same length. Never feed a slaughterfish your lunch. They will not be satisfied. How many soul gems can you fit in your mouth? My record is three. I'm not even gonna ask. I am done with Skuma. It has caused many regretful choices. By fighting at your side, I believe I now walk a better path. I like Skyrim very much. To oblivion with those who don't. Eh, funny. <laughs> Cause the last game was Oblivion. <laughs> the first time I went to the Bee and Barb, that Maven woman pinched my bottom. I am not just a piece of meat. You can trust me to carry your gear. I am very strong and discreet. I've been obsessed with dragons since I was a child. I cannot believe they are back. It has been said I have the voice of a lark that is on fire and is being eaten by a mud crab. <laughs> One day I hope to learn how to fight underwater. I just can't seem to do it. I have traveled to many places. As a result, my accent is eclectic. Taking the scenic route is my style. I'm all for risk and adventure, but why throw yourself off a cliff for no reason? When I am alone traveling the land, I often talk and sing to myself. I am good company. One-handed weapons suit me very much. They leave a hand free to perform rude gestures. I'm not scared of ghosts, but the walking dead chill my blood. <laughs> funny. I'm not a heavy drinker. Violence is my only remaining vice. Unlike most Khajiit, I have never spoken about myself in the third person. I guess it is how I was raised. My mother called me Sky and my brother Sun because of our colorings. I look like a blue sky with clouds. My brother was golden and a bit round. <laughs> uh, funny. I hate the way chickens look at me. Like they know what I've done. <laughs> they probably do, chicken. As everyone knows, chickens are the true overlords of Skyrim. <laughs> I've never run from combat. <laughs> It will no doubt be the death of me. Is that foreshadowing? My least favorite place in Skyrim is anywhere the dead still walk. And Windhelm. I can hack a foe's head from their shoulders with one blow. It is not boasting, it is just a fact. 
I like a little bit of lollygagging. There is nothing for me in my homeland now. This is where my heart says I should be. If you turn around and I am not there, do not worry. I will catch up eventually. Sometimes a man needs a little privacy. My favorite smell is green. Um... Wasn't aware that green had a smell. Some people say I talk too much. Maybe it is true, but when we are up to something sneaky, I will always shut my mouth. Ugly is a state of mind. I hate ugly minds. My foster mother was Khajiit, but my foster father was Argonian. Some found their union hard to understand. They were just mother and father to me. After exploring many ruins here, I have become good at avoiding most traps. Poison, spikes, and fire do not agree with me. I like to have a full quiver. You can never have too many arrows. I like looking good. Sometimes that means being naked. You have to work best with what you have. I can talk without moving my lips. What? That was weird. My honor is very important to me. My first and only attempt with magic did not end well. I am still deaf in one ear and a little blurry in one eye. I am taller though. My favorite place in Skyrim is Riften without a doubt. It smells perfect. One day when I have fully repaid my debts, I hope to build my own home somewhere in the Rift. Hmm. My senses rule me. If something smells good, I cannot resist. When no one is watching, I sometimes chase my tail. <laughs> Silly tail. I'm picky about what I read, but I do enjoy a good book. I'm pretty handy in a fight, uh, even if I do say so myself. I'm very stealthy, if need be. I like the simple things in life. Sitting in a warm bar, the company of a beautiful woman, bashing a giant spider in the face. Some people say they don't like me because the color of my fur. I don't like ignorant racist bigots, so I guess we're even. Fair enough. Machines are interesting, but I do not trust them. I have no knack for magic, I'm afraid. I don't get cold very easily. I love killing spiders. They are so satisfying to squash. It sounds strange when I say it out loud. <laughs> My time as a bandit taught me very little. It was a means to an end. Sick people attract their own kind. I'm not the best judge of character. I will let you decide who deserves to die. Sand and sun is not for me. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really Khajiit at all. I've been practicing. I can defeat almost any lock as long as I have a pick to break. Every time I accidentally snap one, I picture a spider's leg. Okay. My fur bristles when a thunderstorm is on the way. I hate pickpockets. Those who pick my pocket, anyway. Rabbits are not all they seem. Believe me, I found out the hard way. <laughs> I like eating trout and walks in the dark. Um... Okay. I hate racism. This land is full of it. We all laugh and bleed and love, don't we? My fleas keep me company when I'm alone. They are quite funny when you get to know them. Apparently, I taste good. 
My parents used to read to me in bed. I used to pretend I was ill, so I could hear more tales of adventure. I still love a good story. There is much about me I do not know. I like talking about myself. I am very interesting. My heart swells at the sight of natural beauty. Okay, I think we're starting to repeat things now. Some folks seem to have a magical, never-ending supply of arrows. I have no such enchantments working on me, unfortunately. Alright, one more. Unlike most Khajiit, I have never spoken about myself in the third person. I guess it is how I was raised. Fire away! All right. No, my mind is as blank as your expression right now. No offense. Yes, my friend. You lead, I follow. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, wow. We spent... What was it, 9 o'clock when we started? Now it's like 2 in the morning. Jesus. Okay, so I'm thinking Oops, nope. Oh, God damn it. Just ignore that. It's me fucking up things. going on with my game? Why am I lagging so bad? <laughs> oh my god, what is happening?
Did anyone die that time? I hate Death Hound so much. These vampires are becoming a real menace. Solitude wouldn't be the same without the Fire Festival. It owes you a debt of gratitude. But yeah, there's some, something wrong with the game, so... I'm thinking probably the recordings sucking up a lot of my spare hard drive, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, something's going on. I'm gonna go to the tavern, rent a bed for the night, and then I'm gonna take a break from the recording for a while and see what's going on with my game. And then we'll continue on. no one here oh maybe because it's one in the fucking morning are you feeling sick sure thing it's yours for a day I'll show you to your room at this way Anything else you need? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end the recording and I'll see you again in a bit.